I don't know if you guys can see, but there's something in the background here. And maybe we can just reveal this set for us now because it's literally become an, a beautiful art gallery. And uh, with me here, I have the artist behind all of these beautiful pieces. His name is Kamau Ngare. Uh, Karibu sana to the show. Thank you so much. Uh, look at this beautiful set that we have here. And uh, if we could just have that reveal. There we go. <laughs> Um, but um, beautiful pieces right here on set. Uh, Kamal, your work is astounding. I'm humble. Thank like, you so really much. Like really beautiful pieces. I wish you guys could see these up close. Hopefully it's translating well on camera. But um, we want to get to know him just a little bit uh, this morning. He's a brush, a paintbrush artist. And he has been painting for a while. He did take a break at some point uh, before coming back to art. And so as we begin... Um, Maybe you can just tell us, like, what drew you to art and paint paint art in the first place? Yeah, personally, I'm not educated in regards to art. I'm not going to school. Wow. It's an inborn talent. Wow. Uh, I have a degree in a very... F in what, a what is your degree? Uh, procurement. What? <laughs> okay. Yes. Nice. But art is an inborn... It's an inborn talent. And it's your passion. That's my passion. Okay. That's why everything comes in. Yeah. I used to have, I used to be an eight to five guy, uh -huh. but that, I, I wasn't fit for that. Okay. I had to go back to what I love most. So how did you discover that this was like an inborn talent? How young were you when you did? Um, I remember the time Maasai Market used to mm -hmm. have that fame down there. Mm -hmm. uh, some of my friends, my family friends used to come over. Yeah, this is a good piece. Such a don't got to so there was no that encouragement. You wouldn't tell that this thing would uh, give you money yeah. at the end of the day. So due to the whole aspect of my parents not really knowing about uh, visual art, yeah. the support wasn't there. And look, I saw me look for something serious to mm -hmm. do. So art wasn't really that much. Yeah. So, uh, so I just le I had to let it go. Mm -hmm. Went to school. Is that when you took a break? Yeah, yeah. Okay. The whole almost around 12 years. 12 years? Yes. Can I was, I was really tiny by then. Okay. I'd sell my pieces but never get the cash. So the... Oh, where was it going? The folks would take it? Uh, no. The uh, uh, family friend comes. Uh, let me look for work for you. Shoo, no, so later on, I didn't even know about the contemporary art, this mm -hmm. type of art. I didn't know the modern art. Mm -hmm. The only perspective I had was the Maasai market. Mm -hmm. So later on, I had to uh, work hard. I had to like search. I didn't know the type of art that I do, actually. Mm -hmm. I give thanks to Rono. Uh, uh, Rono is an artist. She's Mukabi's sister. He's the one who told me the type of art I do is called surreal art. Okay. I didn't know. Okay. So since then, I've really pushed myself. So uh, since you didn't know what it is, like, how were you coming up with these things? Uh, before, I'd, let's say for instance, it's a portrait I'm making, eh? a portrait of a lady. Uh, the normal portrait has the eye, the facial structure and everything, but I found myself, if it's the eye, I put a flower on it. Mm. So the, the environment would tell me, no, 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 you have to draw it the nice and normal way. Mm. But I find myself being led to putting what I see through right, it. Right. You get. Right. So due to that, I had to uh, go to different places, uh, visit different shows, and get to know. But after I was advised the type of what now, it's like when you're given freedom to do what you want. Right. Yes. So you discovered yourself. Exactly. Wow. Um, very interesting pieces, and we're going to try and go through each one of them individually. Yes. Um, but uh, now that you know what surreal art is, I, I guess is that it? It's, it's, so it's just taking something, creating your own. Uh, it's sort of out of this world, right? It's a, it's not it's a, surreal art is between fantasy and reality. Yeah. It's when you match them together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's mm -hmm. not exactly what you see, but you bring out what's in your heart. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, maybe I guess we can begin with that one. It's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, tell me about this piece and the inspiration behind it. Uh, this piece is called Bella. 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 Nice. When, uh, when there was a time, there was a period in my life I wasn't so well okay. emotionally, so I had to take a trip to Mount Kenya on the sense of Nanyuki. The place, the, I saw this image, uh, the bush aspect of it, but yeah. I didn't have the color. So when I saw the shrubs and the way they were intertwined together, 
coming back, that thing was still running in my head. Mm. So when I drew it, I put the love, the I call the color the love, mm. for it to pop out like that. You call color the love? The love. Okay. Yes, because um, a painting is supposed to take you far. Right. It's supposed, it's supposed to take you to, to a very, the farthest part of the world where it's well seated where you are. Yeah. Yeah. So this for you is a reminder of a coming reminder. out of that yes. emotional pain. From exactly. That yes. Very cool. Let's talk about this one. Um, this is for sure surreal. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, so it's a pregnant lady. Uh -huh. uh, she has her dreads there. Yeah. And then her face. Like what's going on with her face? Uh, the piece is called Wanyaga. Wanyaga. Yeah. Wanyaga means uh, God's own. Okay. God's own. Uh, every every lady who gets to be blessed with a child is beautiful. Yeah. Uh, despite the facial uh, changes that come with the body and right. everything, most of them tend to hide off. Right. You don't want to go out because people are going to comment on your nose is big, yeah, you have yeah. spots and all this. So to me, I sort of uh, the way I find any lady who's uh, who's uh, pregnant is beautiful. Mm -hmm. You get so the whole aspect of the face. You're carrying life inside you. Yeah. You get the life is reflected by the flowers that come outside. Right. Just to signify that you don't have to dictate. You don't have to feel as if you're clo clogged in a particular place that mm -hmm. you have to look like this. No, you're beautiful the way you are, mm -hmm. despite the changes that come. Absolutely. Exactly. Absolutely. Very beautiful. Thank you so much. And um, was this now? Did someone pose for this, or did you sort of just draw this up from your mind? Yeah, from my mind. Wow. Yes. Look at you. Yes. <laughs> Thanks so much. Tell me about this one. I love this. This seems a bit more abstract Ex art, exactly. which I absolutely love. Exactly. Um, hopefully we can see it well, or do I need to raise it? It's okay? Yeah. Max? All right. All right. So there we go. Um, tell me about this piece. Uh, this piece is called uh, Me and You. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Me and You. It's a, it's a, uh, it's a emotions art whenever you're with someone that you love. Oh man, when I grow up, I want to be a painter, just so <laughs> I can talk like this. <laughs> See, this here is called me and you. Yeah. At emotions. The way we are going. <laughs> yeah. I love how artists like just see things that the rest of us don't. Yeah. But I love abstract art. This to me is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so um, much. And you've called it emotions yeah, it's when coming emotions together, interact, colliding. Yes. Actually, color displays emotions. Mm -hmm. You get how you mix yeah. colors, yeah. Or how they merge together. They sort of bring this strength, emotion, yeah. in regards to the feeling that you want to put on the canvas. So what sort of emotion do you want this to evoke? It's that feeling when you see someone you love. Okay. That heartbeat that keeps on uh, pending. And uh, that f it's just uh, when you're happy. Yeah. When you know someone is coming that you love, when you're meeting with someone. Mm -hmm. or Exactly. There's excitement. Excitement. Okay. Yeah. Yes. All right. Turning to this one now, another beautiful piece. And uh, this is someone, you know, clasping their face in their hands. And then their head is like a galaxy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Am I reading this correctly? Exactly. Tell me about this one. Uh, this piece, um, apart from being an artist, I travel a lot. Okay. I have, I um, help. In, uh, this is a project we're having in Masai Land, a place called Tinga, okay. with water. That place, they drink green water. Green? Yeah, green water. Really dirty water. It's algae. Yes. So when we went there the first time uh, with my dad and another organization that he works with, my dad is called Bishop Komo, by the way. Okay. So when we went there, uh, he took me along with him. I saw, it's a Masai place. When you see a Masai, you expect the decorations and all that. But you told you never appreciate the place that you're in until someone else comes. That's true. So when I went there, I stuck there for around uh, two days, no, three days. Mm -hmm. When I spent there, I saw the sky at night. It's beautiful <sighs> out there. It's a peak. Yeah. Then I saw the people, the smiles and everything. Yeah. So to me, when I saw the people, I matched them with the sky. Yeah. That piece is called Beautiful Night. Beautiful night. Beautiful night. Amazing. Yes. You've mentioned your dad being a bishop, and of course earlier they were, you know, go to school. Yes. You know, what what do they perceive now? Like, I mean, looking at, it's not like you, 
You know, it's one thing when you tell your dad you want to be a, a, a painter and then you're also drawing like stick figures. But <laughs> <laughs> I mean, your work is absolutely stunning. Thank like, you. Thank you. How do they feel about what you do now? Uh, right now, they're my biggest supporters. And shout out to the Bishop Kamau's family. Yeah. I appreciate so much. Uh, no, no, he's not. He's oh. watching right now. Yes. Oh, oh, give him on this one. This, this one, this one. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, shout out to Bishop Kamau family <laughs> and the Kamau's family. I love you to death. Oh, yes. wonderful. Initially, they never used to support me. Yeah. Look for something serious to do yeah. with your life. Yeah. That was the aspect. I don't judge them because they didn't know that later on in life, these would put table. Yeah. Put table put on in there. Table. Exactly. Yeah, and it's not what they knew. I mean, yeah, exactly. in their times, like, this was not something that would have allowed them to feed you. De definitely, right? so definitely. And also artists are perceived in a different way. That's true. Yeah, you yeah. understand? Eh? But now they know better. Now they know better. They Actually, they're the ones who promote me. Wow. Yeah, yeah, my son is doing this. They're the one calling people. Hey, watch out. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Thank you. Well, I want us to turn back here because this is giving me a new background for the show today. Yeah. But um, this one, <coughs> just to, if for those who may not be able to see it um, very well, there's two hands like this, clasped like this, and then there's two little girls carrying jerrycans, mitungi amaji juya kichwa, and there's all this beautiful color around. Please tell me this is God, God's hands carrying his children. Can you take a guess of the name of God's the piece? God's hands? <laughs> it's called the grace. The grace? Yes. Wow. Yeah. Man, I'm such a fan of you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this is beautiful. Yes. Wow, I don't. I'm just speechless. I, I don't even know what to say about that one still. Yeah. But um, the grace. What was behind this inspiration? Um, first, mostly, if I may mention, uh, I'm also. I have a. I have a voluntary art class I teach. Wow. Kids at the community just to give back to the community. Well done. Uh, it's called Studio Ngari. So Where if you is Google, that? it's back in the Gurete. Okay. So if you Google Studio Ngari or Kamongari, be able to see what I do with yeah. the kids. Uh, when I teach art, I tell them, you have to paint from the heart. Okay. You have to paint from the heart. That piece is called His Grace. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's basically about God. Whenever you go out, you don't know where you're going to. Yeah. You don't know who you're meeting. Yeah. Uh, these kids are usually sent to go uh, fetch Collect for water. water. Mm -hmm. Just like the way you let our kids go to school, you don't know who they're going to meet along right. the way. So His Grace is always sufficient. Yeah, He so carries them back yeah, home. Yeah, and brings them back. Yeah, Inspired. and the same for all of us too as adults, exactly. especially now too in this season of exactly. Corona, right? Like exactly. I think it's important for us to remember that literally our living, our breathing, the fact that we go home and we come back, you know, in the, we go out in the day and come back in the evening, all of that is just God's grace. Exactly. Wow. Yeah. Approximately how long does it take you to do these pieces? Do you only do things that you're inspired by or do people commission you for work as well? Yeah, yeah. people do commission for me. Mm -hmm. uh, to do work, but uh, on this certain pieces like this, I, it depends on the emotion that I have at that yeah. particular minute. I get inspiration when I travel, when I meet with people, probably when we are discussing with you, things just pop out in my yeah. head. Yes. Yeah. So it's just, it's usually a journey. A piece like this can take uh, like three hours, okay, wow. an hour or so, it can take a month, can take two weeks, a yeah. week, three days, it depends. It depends on where you are. It depends I on hate. It's like writing music. Sometimes exactly. you write a song in 15 minutes, other times it takes you two weeks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's true. Okay. Yes. And um, uh, hopefully, I don't know, if people want to purchase them, of course, they'd each have their individual pricing. Yes. But from the ones that are here, approximately how much do they range between? Uh, between uh, 50 and... Uh, and 80,000. Okay. Uh, All right. Kamau, thank you so much for coming on to the show. How yes. do people reach you? Uh, Kamau Ngari. Mm -hmm. Kamau Ngari without the hyphen. Yeah. Or via IG. That's N G A A R I. Yes. Mm -hmm. And via Twitter, it's Kamau Ngari. Uh -huh. Via Facebook, it's uh, Kamau Ngari. Okay. Kamau Ngari. Also, if I may mention, yes. BSQ is a crew that we work with, okay. graffiti, just to give back to the community. All right. Yes. Wow, fantastic. Well done, man. Thank you You're so, so much. impressive. I just love your whole thought. I love your work. Oh, Lord. Wow, absolutely amazing. Thank you very much for thank, coming. Thanks so much.